work them sometimes like a weak babies. Babes in arms, innocence abroad, in a world that's a lot bigger and a lot nastier than most of them can even dream of. And I should know, because I've been at it long enough. I thought I know there's no copper yet who could say he's seen it all, me included. So what do they know? Not a lot. Next to nothing, some of them. In terms of how devious, how various, how unexpected and how stomach-churning nasty the criminal mind can really be. Time was when I tried to tell them, prepare them, but not now. Because you can't. You can't ever truly prepare someone for the first time they see the body of a kid who's been sexually assaulted, or looking down the long end of a 12 or They just have to learn, on their feet. And if they can't learn or they can't take it, well, chuff. They're no use to me or see, Sometimes I look at myself and I can weep. If I were the weeping kind, which I'm not, forgotten now. Nearly twenty years in this fort, and where have I got? Detective Sergeant Rocker, baby minder. What did I ever do to deserve it? Baby minder, that's what they call them. Rocker's babies. Like I'm a nursemaid, wiping their backsides and their snotting noses. All those bright, overconfident, cheeky, over-educated, big, ignorant, forward, backward, clumsy, loutish, yuppish, fresh-faced innocent who someone that could might just have it in them to move out of uniform and into theory. And it's my job to look after them, nurse them along, train them, help them realize their full potential. As Mr. Monroe, my boss, said with a sneer on his face, all in two years, maximum. Some of them make it in one, not many though, and you can usually tell early on who they're going to be. The rest, two years, two chances at the board, and if they mock up the second time, that's it. Goodbye and being back. Often as not, you can tell who they're going to be as well. Take this pleasure. Adams, you'll make it in one, if you want to, and he knows it. The vision is an assistant commissioner by the time he's 40, that's where he's heading. With his degree and his nice manners and his smooth hands. The thing about Adams is fear he might be too dirty for. He might just decide to stick in uniform and go that way. Maybe he'd be right to for that. Which definitely cannot be said about Steve Hood. The sooner he gets into CID, the better. Because otherwise that nasty Jack Boots freak he's got could land him in a lot of bother. Could land him in a lot of bother in CID, he comes to that. But at least there he'd have an outlet for it. The birds are all right. Little Karen Walsh is a knuckle if ever I saw him. She's got nourish, she's got bottles, she's got initiative. Bit of a loner, maybe. But there are certain kinds of CID work, like going undercover, where well, that's an upfront first priority. Dennis Hargreaves is completely the upper. A good team member, good all round, a bottle of half is our jam. And by Christ, we can do with a few more black detectives. If she doesn't make it, I'll lie down, roll over, and put my paws in the air. The only two out of this lot have got real question marks about are Keith Chitty and Paul Jordan. I don't know what to make of Jordan. Doesn't seem to put himself about much. I'm sitting on his backside more than I'd reckon a detective should. He gets the collars, though, enough somehow. He's not stupid, so I don't know. Did he? I have deep reservations about him. He's already failed one board, and quite frankly, I can't see it being much different next time around. I can't even work out what he's doing wanting to be a cop at all. I mean, if you had the choice of between chewing a straw and telling the good earth and deep you thought it, and sweeping the garbage out of London, because what would you do? If I was him, I wouldn't be here doing this, I tell you. On top of which, it's not that he's big. He just seems like it. The irony is, as a thief taker, he's not bad. But that still doesn't solve the problem of the way he looks, or the way he sounds, or the way he comes across business. I've tried to tell him, just as I know how. Ask him, what's he doing here? Only now I think about it. I'm not sure I've ever had an answer of him. Or maybe he doesn't know himself. So, that just leaves O'Dowd. Jerry O'Dowd. What the hell do you say about him? He's a one-off and no mistake. Oh, Dowd, he's just got that dreams are made of. Mine, anyway, and the nightmares, mostly. Oh, Dowd. God bless Oh, Dowd. Save me from him. If anyone's going to get in deep water on this one and drag the rest in with him, you can bet all you want it will be Jerry Oh, Dowd.